Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is Puzzle Manifestations. So if you think about it, your life is like one big picture made up of all these little puzzle pieces. They're little fragments, in a sense, that have all come together to create your reality as you're experiencing it right now. And thoughts become things. And really repetitive thoughts become solidified things. So your life is a reflection of repetitive thoughts, reinforced pictures or impressions. And that is how you are experiencing your life right now. So think about your thoughts. What do you think over and over again? What do you reinforce over and over again? You know, as you're driving around, do you have a narration going on in your head about this da 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 da? Oh God, da 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 da. Or imagine going on Oprah and telling your problem and injustices of the world, and Oprah understands. Or Ellen, Ellen, listening to your problems. Those repetitive conversations are influencing your life. Now when you switch it around and you think of positive things, then that's informing your life. Those become the building blocks of your life. It's not just as simple as positive thinking, but it is the foundation of positive thinking, that positive thinking that you're reinforcing your life by creating it with positive thoughts, positive affirmations, and it shifts your reality in positive ways. I'll give you an example of what happened to me. Uh, when I made the decision to consciously create my life partner, and I started by noticing that I had these negative thoughts and I'd have, I would imagine as I was driving around, I would have these, this litany of complaints. I would imagine talking to people and telling them how terrible life was. And specifically, all the things that were wrong with previous people I had dated. So I caught myself. And as I started that conversation, I shifted it to my next relationship is going to be the next person I'm involved with will be and I in positive attributes, all the positive things that I wanted my next relationship to be. And I put time into doing just that before I took action. I did that for about nine weeks and when I took action, I met my husband within a few days. Now I had done something like this a little bit earlier when I was focusing on my life and my negative thinking. And I just simply shifted it to the positive and I lifted out, out of a depression that I had been in for years. So that lifted me to a higher vibratory level that I have operated on ever since. If you're wanting to create a new reality, shift your thinking and your perspective to specifics that you would like to create and reaffirm those and those become your new puzzle piece. And every, but honestly, every thought that you're putting out into the world is actually going out to the universe to create the, the puzzle of your life. So what are you sending out? What kind of materials are you giving to your graphic artist in the sky to manifest your reality? What are you as consciousness using to create the sum total of the reality that you're in now? And you can actually use this to change certain sections of your life. Maybe, you know, you like most of the puzzle pieces, but the, ooh, that one over there, that's kind of dark, it's kind of soggy. If this were Bob Ross, he'd paint it over and put a happy little cloud. You can literally do that by shifting the focus in that one area. That, your whole life doesn't have to be destroyed in order to create an upliftment. And in fact, you don't, you don't have to, like, get rid of everybody 
in it either. You don't have to destroy your current relationship in order to be in a better place. Your relationship can actually transform. How you do that is you change the specifics of what you're requesting. You don't necessarily have to request a new husband in order to have more attention, more warmth and affection, um, you know, somebody who is aligned to the same life path. You can leave the, a blank spot for that. And suddenly you might find your partner being more spiritual. You don't have to predetermine the, the results based on your current state of thinking. You are just simply shifting your current state of thinking. Letting that sink in. So you were creating all the puzzle pieces in your reality today. You are creating it. You're creating it through your thoughts, which are also creating your feelings. And you are creating it as consciousness because you're taking all of that. The greater aspect of you is taking all of that to manifest this reality with. So play with this. Notice your thoughts over the next few days. Catch yourself. Rewrite your script. Change your verbal picture. Change the things you're putting out to the universe. And watch how your life changes. It can happen very quickly when you do this. So if you want to know more, my website is joan-nukem.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can sign up for my mailing list to get these in your inbox as well as my weekly newsletter. You can also sign up below to get a quiz for your passion and your purpose. I have some new programs starting, which you can find out more at joan-nukem.com. I have meetups around the Puget Sound. I have a weekly radio show. All of those are listed below. And stay tuned because I'll have another Mystic Minute in a couple of days.